Good evening. Um, welcome back once again on this um, 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 podcast. Uh, this evening we are asking a question. Can you apply to remain in the UK with your partner if you have no immigration status? We all know that um, following the um, coming to an end, the European Union, that is um, the free movement um, um, rights that we enjoyed through the Directive 2000 and 438 that we had that freedom to move around and also to form relationships and make application out of that to remain in the UK. Um, that has come to an end and therefore if you are in the UK and you would want to make an application to regularize your stay through the family route, you would have to meet a certain um, requirements in order to do so or for your application to succeed. So um, if we ask if you can do an application whilst you have no immigration status, what are the requirements actually to meet in order for that application to succeed? Number one, you have to show that you know, there is a relationship and that can be demonstrated through um, showing your marriage certificate or on the other hand, showing that you have actually lived with this, your partner for um, two years. Now, the reason is that under the immigration rules, there is a definition of a partner that is uh, seen in um, general, that is Gen 1.2 definition, that um, a partner is somebody who um, is married to the person who is settled here in the UK. When we say somebody is settled, that is a person who has British citizenship or um, has indefinitely lived to remain or has humanitarian protection, normally will be, would have been granted five years under the refugee status. If you can demonstrate that you have a relationship with this person, you can make an application. That is one of the requirements. The second requirement to meet is financial. So when you look at the appendix FMSC, it says that if you, you marry um, a settled person and there, there are no children between yourselves, then you, you have to meet the financial requirement of 18,600. Now, that can be also demonstrated by providing if you are um, an employee, um, six months of your bank statement, six months of your pay slip, a letter from your employer confirming your role and income and all of that. And then also sometimes you can add your PCC to that. The third requirement you have to meet in order to submit a successful application under the partner route is the English language requirement. So if you are from a non-main English speaking country, then you would have to either have a degree from your home country that you also have to show that that degree was actually taught in English by um, getting a statement of comparability um, from either ECTIS or um, when we, what we used to um, say NARIC before. If these three requirements are met, there is a fourth one, which is what we are discussing this evening, immigration status. Now, when we say immigration status, so the applicant should have some sort of leave, not a visitor's visa leave, rather leave to remain in the UK. Normally, um, students would have tier four general um, leave to remain, which of course, if you have one of those, you can make an application and remain here with your partner. The question is, if you don't have the leave, then what can you do? The immigration rules allow for um, exceptions to this rule. Now, if you can show that there are insurmountable obstacles, that is something that will prevent you, the applicant, and your spouse from going to your home country to live there or continue your family life, then you can make an application here in the UK. The threshold is very, very high, that insurmountable obstacle, because the definition under the EX2 says that it's not something that is inconvenient. So you cannot say that um, because you have a job or you've lived in the UK for all your life and therefore it will be hard for you to go to your partner's country. Maybe you can't speak their language. That is just inconvenience or difficulties. It should be something more than that. So for example, um, recent case that we dealt with that is very, very um, good and was successful is, is a partner who you know, um, married somebody who is a transgender. Now, because we were able to evidence that when, if she were to require to go back to her home country, um, which um, is Ghana, um, you know, she would suffer um, um, some harsh treatment. 
the application was successful. Why? Because she was able to overcome the insurmountable obstacles. So that is under the EX1B definition, so EX2 definition. That going to Ghana may may cause her to face extreme hardship that cannot be um, something that anybody can take. What this means is that if you are looking into submitting an application whilst you are in the UK and you don't have immigration status, you can also rely on human rights protection, that is exceptional circumstances. But remember that the caseworker or the home office will look at when you form the relationship. So for example, if your relationship started or you, you start your relationship whilst you, you do not have any leave to remain, then the, um, the law will look at it as that you started the, re the relationship knowing that your situation in the UK was precarious or unlawful. And therefore, the assessment of the proportionality test under the Human Rights Family Life Article 8 will not really tilt to your favor because knowing very well that you didn't have leave and entered into the relationship, less weight will be um, afforded to your family life and therefore the application um, may fail. And that is why we always advise that if you form a relationship with a person who is settled or British or humanitarian protection, um, 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 five years route, then you may have to go to your home country to apply. But don't take this um, um, from us. If you know that there may be something that would actually prevent you from going back, please speak to your lawyer, speak to a legal um, a representative and get all the options available to you. It could be that maybe you are Christian and that the country that you are required to go to is mainly Muslim um, um, culture and therefore will not accept that kind of marriage. What that means is that it may be so harsh for you to go and live there with your partner and can be used as an insurmountable obstacle to prevent you from going and then can make an application here in the UK and succeed. So this is what we want you to take from uh, today's um, short um, clip. That yes, you can make an application to remain in the UK if you can demonstrate that there are something in your life or your partner's life that will prevent you from going and then that will meet the definition of EX2, insurmountable obstacles or exceptional circumstances under the Human Rights Act. We will leave you with this. If you need any further clarification on this, you can contact BWF solicitors. Our contact details will be displayed under this video. And next week, we will have another yet interesting topic to treat. Thank you very much for watching this. Goodbye.